Hello folks, Darren Crouch again. Um, I've been asked about acceptable wear on a um, propeller shaft and the bearing. Um, here you'll see a typical greaser, which I've covered in a couple of videos now. So this should all be quite straightforward in terms of if you see my videos. If you haven't, just pop back and have another look. But so this is a, a bearing we pulled off. Now, interestingly, we think that this equipment was put in around about 98. So it's had a good, good life and it's, it's served very well. But unfortunately, this bearing is um, is definitely seen better days. I'll try and show you from this angle here. Um, if you just, I don't know if you can actually make out on the camera here. Let me try and get my phone to it. There we go. So you see how thick this dark band is with the tip of my fingernail. I'll bring this round. You see the massive increase. So what's happening is this is the bottom when it was screwed into the boss at the back of the boat and the shaft's leaning on it. Um, now, this equipment was installed on a Mitsubishi uh, Thornycroft but also had a Python drive and, th and a thrust bearing. Thrust bearing's okay, so that equipment has you know, saved the gearbox and that sort of thing, but unfortunately this is just age. There's not really anything you can do about that. So um, what, what would happen with this is the propeller, sh the propeller will literally be shaking around and hammering. You can imagine that this, what I'm holding is still, but the shaft is doing what I'm doing with this. Um, so it's, this, is, this is beyond acceptable tolerances in terms of the wear. But we'll come down here as well, because there's more wear to see, um, which is down where the, the packing. You can make out this groove here. That's because the packing's been getting tighter on the shaft. And what I'm going to do now is withdraw the bearing and show you something. So that's just, just a typical engineer's rule. I'll put the numbers around. The numbers are relevant, but it's nice to have things right way up. So the point of wear stops round about this band here. This will be the point where it sits on the outer edge of the, of the tip of this bearing, yeah? So, I'll put that in place there. So this is the edge that goes out through the boss and that's where the shaft meets. So, from here all the way up to, I think it's actually this end, where the shaft stops you know, tapering down, is where. So if I put my straight edge on, now, not sure if you can make out, what we're looking for is the gap. Let me just try and get that straight on. Right, I'm sure you can see that. See that line of light? So, see the 10 inch mark on the rule? Look at the gap we've got. So if that shaft was perfectly round still, it wouldn't, wouldn't have that light coming through. And then you can see down here, I'm trying to get that on square. You can see the wear down there as well. So, how can you tell if your propeller shaft is worn out when it's in the boat? Now, the, the, the only real way you could do it based on a guide would be to undo the coupling from the gearbox and grab the shaft and do this with it and then push the shaft out and do that with it and then bring it all the way as far in as you can and do that with it because what you're doing is you're, you're moving the shaft into different positions in the bearing and the shaft will have different points of wear so wherever this is sitting constantly is always being worn out it's just the nature of material there's nothing you can do about that um, the water and some grease will help prevent that as it travels down the shaft but you know it, all things get old Crikey, i'm 37 and i'm getting on a bit so um i'm sorry i keep being told by the teenagers anyway so unfortunately this is now worn out now i had a chat to the gentleman whose equipment this is and this shaft's got two tapers one at the for the boss and the propeller and one at the coupling at the end now we're fitting a brand new engine so realistically um we're going to do away with this um suggest the upgrades to a total of uh, one and a half inch because this that original greater diameter was one and a half inch where it comes down to one and a quarter at both ends we think um better to go with one and a half just you know improve it again if you go back to stone gear fundamentals uh, explained you'll you'll see the new gear and how that looks um, I will say that this has served the boat well, but it's just worn out now. Um, the issue you have with this point here where the packing is, is in order to get this to create a seal, you're going to be tightening up that gland more and more and more and more, and it's just, it's going to get worse. Um, I was given a picture by, by Ralph from the yard here, and it shows um, just how bad this could get. He's actually sent me a picture of the original diameter, and it, 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 the picture he sent me, so I'll, I'll put up in the picture here, you'll see just how much is worn out. It's almost down halfway, which is incredible. But um, yeah, so unfortunately, what this will do is put stress on your uh, gearbox bearing and output, 
Uh, so yeah, unfortunately this needs to be changed. Hope that helps a little bit.